everybody it's Matt at Sparkle Farm uh, we're working on the 1700 again uh, Ford we are going to be taking the wheel off and going to be getting to the rear brakes on the uh, left side uh, they've never worked since I've owned it not that I've really driven this thing too much because only you just finished putting the clutch in and stuff but this video is going to be focusing on the rear brakes on your on a Ford so hopefully this video helps out somebody so if you like these videos like and subscribe them or subscribe to our channel and uh, let's get into it Let's get a dish and put these in. Because I don't want to try and find one of these. These are heavy. Let's take the fender off because everything we need to get to is right behind that. A little bit of blaster works every time. Alright, so this is our where all our, our brakes are. So we need to take all this off. So I hope that it, this just needs some, I don't know, finesse because it's this tractor set for, I don't know, three to, three to five years before I picked it up. Um, three for sure. And so a lot of stuff's just frozen on it. So I kind of hope that it just needs to be taken apart, cleaned, and put back together. All right, I can tell that someone's already been on it once because there's all the this red RTV on it. But I went around, blasted everything, and made sure it all broke free. So let's take this cover off. So what I'm hoping is that since this brake was not catching, it just something locked up and we don't have to replace anything because the clutch that they put it in and did wrong was brand new so hopefully they just did something wrong here They were very liberal with their RTV, so hopefully that's a factor. Clean this up and figure out. I have a feeling it's just something's just not yeah, right. When that lever moves, it should move the brakes out by. Yeah, we'll put this in the clean it up, put it in the vise, and the shoes actually look pretty good. 
and it's all rusty in here so that means it's just not been working all right so all I did was put the lever that moves it in the vise and it's all that's supposed to happen so it's working So we're just going to clean everything up and put it back together and hopefully that uh, fixes the problem. And clean this up pretty good. Um, I did blew it out with the air gun so everything's working so it must have just been a linkage issue so we'll put this back in and uh, we'll check out the linkage all right I'm just using up some just some RTV that I had out of a busted tube This is just to keep the water out. Alright, so that was nice and... And then there's two dowels to line up. One... Alright, so this is the linkage that catches to the bottom of the brake. So we are going to break this nut free and move this rod in a little bit. That's because uh, we checked it uh, when we push the pedal, this moves. So maybe it wasn't engaging enough. But I just kind of figured if someone went through the trouble of changing it, they would have uh, made them work at the end. Let's check that out. Let's see if we can get it lined up. Oh, that moved it a good. Oh, I got it. Are you able to get it? Yep. I think that was like four good four turns. Well, uh, all right. Would we put it neutral? Will they spin? Yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to twist it. There it is. Okay. Well, I guess we didn't have to take it all apart, but we made a video about it. Um, yeah, now we know that there's a not a nuller problem with this tractor. And it's working, and that's all that matters at the end of the video. So, I'm going to put the cotter pin back in and get this back together and cleaned up. Alright, uh, hopefully this video helped out somebody. If you like it, hit subscribe and uh, see you next video. Uh, there's a number of them coming with about the 1700 here.